Hey there, Michael Bolton here again with Ravy, here to talk about We Form Voltron versus the Ronin. For We Form Voltron, we've got a Loki, three Slipnirs, two Cyclones, a Scimitar, and two Thrashers, forming like a sort of Mimitar Rush team with a little bit of crowd control in there. And for the Ronin, we've got what's probably going to be Soundwave's favorite setup of the day. It's two Myrmidons, a Lachesis, a Guardian, three, count it, three Curses, an Ishkur, and two Tyrannuses, or Tyranni. Um... I guess uh, Ronan decided that if one curse is good and two curses are better, three curses will be the best. Uh, this may actually be the first team to overuse curses that we've ever seen. Yeah, those Myrmidons warping in at quite a distance, looking to uh, drop drones and probably just pick away as much as they can. Those curses are just going to cap out anything that gets close. But I don't know if there's enough DPS on the Ronin side to take this. Yeah, this Ronin team does not do a lot of damage. It looks like the uh, Lachesis for the Ronin is the first primary from the uh, Wii Form Voltron team. Yeah, it's already blown through shields. We'll have to see how effective the reps are on it. The, the DPS from the Wii Form Voltron team is just going to be horrendous. And then Loki's going to be able to web down anything that they need to catch. But it should be interesting to see how the drones and the uh, cap abilities of the curses and the complementary Galente ships uh, come into play here. If those curses are equipped with tracking disruptors, they will significantly decrease the tracking or range of the uh, Weeform Voltron ships. But unfortunately, uh, Ronin has come up against a team that doesn't need to use a lot of cap. The Voltron team needs to use cap for its reps. Um, from the Scimitar, it needs to use cap for its micro warp drives, but it is, does not need to use cap for its guns, which is going to be a crucial uh, distinction here. Yeah, the Ronin's taking a real beating. They already lost their Lachesis. They've got a curse of oh, taking reps now, but it was about in half armor. And there's damage onto the Guardian now as well. Yeah, the, Guardian, the Guardian's been taking damage. I think they switched, have switched off to the curse. Meanwhile, the uh, Ronin is attempting to do some damage to two different Slepnirs for Reform Voltron, but it looks like that damage is being repped fairly easily. No, yeah, obviously the uh, uh, being made of giant metal cats for the Wii Form Voltron team is really uh, playing in their hands here. Uh, looks like they've switched damage back onto the Guardian, going down relatively quickly. Uh, and Oh, they're splitting damage between the Guardian and the Curse. So yes, we've seen a lot like. of split damage. There was some damage split onto Nikolai Tesla, Tesla of uh, Wii Form Voltron, but now the damage is all concentrated on Seldery and the Voltron Captain and his Slepner. By the way, for those who are observant on the Angel Hunt team and the Thrasher, on the <laughs> Reform Voltron team and the Thrasher, you'll see previous Alliance tournament expert Angel Hunt uh, doing his best to kill some uh, Tyrannuses, it looks like. And meanwhile, Voltron, just for the style points, appears to be about to kill two of the uh, Ronin ships at the same time. We've got a Guardian entering structure and a Curse getting repped, but dropping pretty quickly. Yeah, as soon as that Guardian goes down, that curse is going to fall like a bag of rocks. Meanwhile, the Scimitar for Wii Form Voltron is taking a lot of damage. It looks like the uh, drone mob on him is uh, doing a bit, pretty significant amount of damage. Yeah, no. The drones on the, for the Ronin team are just really tearing up that, uh, that team. They're just, but they're too spread out. I feel like they really just don't have the organization right now to put some da put down some serious DPS. Yeah, splitting the damage, I really don't understand why that's a good choice. They're doing quite a bit of damage to the Scimitar and to the uh, Slepnir, but if they just focused on one or the other, they probably could have actually killed a ship at this point. Yeah, and there is a ton of shield transfer drones on that Scimitar. It looks as though uh, We Form Voltron has fielded almost exclusively shield rep drones mm -hmm. to put down on that Scimitar. And that's been enough to actually rep the Scimitar back up. Now, at this point, I think Voltron would have loved to have had some smart bombs. I'm not seeing any smart bombs going, but I think they're still going to take this fight pretty handily. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing with the high slots on those Myrmidons. Uh, it really would have been a good idea to fit at least some sort of smart bomb. I'm seeing what looks like small guns on it. Small artillery, it appears, which, wow, that's interesting at least. That's quite the fit, obviously. Uh, using those for the little DPS they can get out and uh, neglecting some possible utility hides, thinking they have probably the cap warfare, all the cap warfare they need with those uh, three curses. Well, there may be other things in the highs of this mode on. It's a ways away from the fight right now. But uh, the Voltron team is now switching its fire to the uh, small ships for uh, the Ronin. And uh, they're taking them down quite quickly. The tracking on those Slepners is excellent. Unless the frigate is right on top of you, you can hit just about anything. And it's doing a good job as an Ishkur is right about to die. Yeah, but Ishkur's actually been holding out in low structure for a while. He may have pulled range. Yeah, he may have uh, tried to uh, duck Me out real quick. Meanwhile, though, we do have a curse just now dying for the Ronin. It looks like we form Voltron is going to easily take this fight and therefore take the top spot in the group. Yeah, these guys are getting pounded. 
Actually, a lot of fun stuff going on the couch today. Nice of them to announce that it's possible that ice would be moved only to Nullsec while we are locked inside a room. And not to able to buy ice. Yeah, unable really. to jump to Jita and buy all the ice we possibly can. This camera character has no ice, unfortunately. Yeah, for those of you in the audience looking to uh, possibly help a brother out, Michael Space Bolton III, feel free to contract as much free ice as you would like. We're seeing in the Ishker um, still in very low uh, structure, but most of the damage being applied to now one of the Myrmidons for the Rona. It's just a matter of time now. With this win, D4 and Voltron will take first place in their uh, group, and uh, they'll end up facing Bane uh, in the uh, first round tomorrow. Yeah, no. Uh, it may have been a bad choice for Bane to field that Dominic setup. Not the best, and they're going to be stuck against a team that's very, very strong. Yes, facing Voltron is a lot like facing Darkseid. It's not something you really want to do if you don't have to, but uh, I'm sure Bane will do his best. Hopefully put in a bit more of an effort than they did in this match. Maybe move. Yeah. That By the help. way, for those of you writing up those private contracts as we speak, you can also just send straight ISK. I would, uh, I'm very poor after uh, losing an uh, autocannon scorpion on our, dev our expert realm. Yes. It probably would have helped if he had told us that he was tackled on the uh, Kebra's Gate and Head, but, uh, well... I was trying to save Shadu, who had told us he was aggressed. It turns out he was in an entirely different system and failed to tell any of us that. So I was just trying to help a brother out, and then he proceeds to just do nothing but grief with me the entirety of today. Hate to break it to you, but I think the rest of us all knew. Listen, your guys', your guys FC ability to transfer information as FCs, <laughs> or should I say all five of us were FCs, is not actually the best way to PvP. Five FCs think. is the best way to do it, as long as you actually talk to each other. Perhaps in Pandemic Legion, everyone in the fleet is an FC, yes. but that's not the way we do it in test. Um, so at this point, it's just the two frigates left for um, the Ronin, and actually the Ronin has now lost one of their ships. I forget uh, which one it was. I think it was one of the Tyrannuses. Yeah. Uh, Gargius uh, 5 has been destroyed due to a boundary violation. Yeah, he was probably just sprinting off as quickly as possible to try and uh, save himself. And yeah, may have at this point I would be running away in this case too. Yeah. But it's just going to be a matter of time now before those uh, frigates get uh, chased down. It would have been uh, good, I think, if the Voltron team had maybe used uh, some of those extra points, maybe dropped a Cyclone for some uh, Sabres. Would have allowed you to have all 10 ships and be able to kill these frigates a bit faster. But as it is, still a very easy win for Reform Voltron. Right now, it looks like it's very unfortunate that the Ronin were able to score zero points because right now, in the next match, if Aggravated Assault wins, then it is still possible for the Ronin to make it on in points. Yes, but without any of these points, it's really not going to help Yeah, them. it's really tight. Power, there are only uh, four points behind Power of Two, so chances of them making it through are exceedingly low. So we have uh, three minutes left in the match, and the final remaining uh, Ronin ships are attempting to run away as best they can at the edge of the arena. Um, I guess they really decided they can't afford to uh, lose these uh, Tyrannus and Ishker. They are very expensive ships. Now, yeah, trying to save those seven points, or perhaps they're trying to draw the teams towards the boundary so they can go back in and loot some Yes, runs. pulling a Top Gun Tyrannus would be very impressive. I would love to see that. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, these pilots highly skilled to have not fallen to uh, CCP's or Nitra's wrath. Except uh, for the one. Oh, well, except, yes, except for the one. But <laughs> now we've got the one last Tyrannus. He is taking some light damage from Seldarine Slefner, but uh, he should be able to outrun it quite well. It's going to be once those two Thrashers get on top of him. Hopefully, Angel Hunt can take him down pretty quickly and get this match over with. Yep, interesting to see. We already have some good fights in local. So, yes. Uh, <laughs> it's obvious that uh, the Ronin team is really. Uh, Thinks they can still win this. They yeah. uh, they really believe themselves. They're uh, they're hoping for the hero Tyrannus. That Tyrannus does have a little bit of DPS on it. Uh, perhaps if the, all of the other team just starts shooting each other, it can sneak in and grab some kills. From the zoomed out view here, it's actually pretty amusing. We've got the Voltron team spreading out to try to encircle this last Tyrannus because they can't actually catch it by speed alone. Pushing up against the edge of the arena, and I think that's finally done the trick. It's now getting pretty close to Hey Yu's Cyclone, and Hey Yu may actually be able to do something right here. Up, oh, I've seen fire between the two ships. Yes. What is that? But the Tyrannus is taking just light damage and is continuing to uh. move away. <laughs> <laughs> Uncatchable. We will have to just uh, complete BS for the next uh, minute and 20 seconds unless uh, this we Form Voltron team can uh, run this uh, Tyrannus down. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to at the moment. Oh, we are, did see a hit against it. He dropped uh -huh. a fair number of shields. In the meantime, let's talk a bit about these two teams. Voltron is a team that came in uh, third place last year with an excellent showing and uh, is obviously one of the main contenders for uh, the whole prize this year. Uh, the Ronin, they used to be uh, very good, had, were solid for many years. They uh, competed as RUR and as the Ronin. 
That's the team that actually killed the Impoc. That was a bit mm. before your time, I think, Michael Bowen. But did you ever no, see yeah. that on uh, YouTube? I am but a wee babe. No, I don't. I don't believe I've seen it on YouTube. My big, uh, the big old school. Alliance tournament match was by far the 10 Thrashers being yes. Bob. The 10 Thrashers is one that will always go down in history. But that impact destruction that this RUR Ronin team did um, is one of my favorite all-time matches as well. If only for uh, Nathan Richardson over his face at the point when uh, the impact died. No, it's always great to see hear some excellent cheering. I was doing some great cheering today when uh, Pandemic Legion lost their round. Yes, um, that was a, a very interesting fight, and I think uh, Shadu was probably the only one cheering louder than you there. Yeah, I would like to... I, oh, we, we see some hits falling on this Tyrannus. He's in low structure, but it looks like he's going to uh, get away again. He's Survive the range. match. He's going to snag those... <laughs> With a those giant stream points. of fire behind him. Oh, yeah. On fire is the only way to fly. And we're down to two seconds, and the match is over. We form Voltron with a convincing victory over the Ronin, and that's going to place them in first place in their match and put them up against Bane in the first round tomorrow. All right, we're going to send it back to CCP Soundwave in our studio.